the obituary is wrong. He's not dead. <laughs> yeah, sorry to disappoint you, Daddy. Okay, bye-bye. Honey, look what the Johnson sent. I was loved. Well, thanks a lot, Rodney. Because of stupid Hell Week, I've been on the phone all morning explaining to everybody that you're not dead. New rule? No Hell Week jokes that inconvenience me. That's a good suggestion. I'm gonna run that by the rules committee. No. I thought that the joke had to be in the form of a gift, a fake obituary. How is that a gift? Trina, look around. We didn't eat this good when I was alive. God, I'm gonna kill you. These guys are driving me crazy. What do I gotta do to shake these guys? If you hate them so much, why'd you give them a ride over here? I didn't. They're in a lot better shape than they look. Lo siento. Well, you deserve to suffer, Barry. You went too far with that obituary. The widow Hamilton seems a little ticked off. I'm dead. She's not my problem anymore. You both stop. Barry, get those guys out of here. They'll be gone soon enough. Ben and Ron, you're going to go down to the goose. I can't wait that long. Take them in the backyard. While you're out there, your next gift's in my garage. Oh, good. Maybe the carbon monoxide will slow them down. Rodney. What are you doing here? I was about to ask you the same thing. <laughs> I thought you were dead. I thought you were too. Honey, who is it? I'm Dale. I'm Trina. Didn't you know each other? Not really. He's my dad. So, uh, you're Rodney's dad? Yep. Honey, do you think you could, Yeah, uh, I'm gonna do the... Yeah, could you? Yep. What are you doing here? Well, I saw the obituary. Figured I'd pay my respects. Well, if that's why you came, it looks like you wasted a trip. Hey, where are you going? I got stuff to do. Well, I thought we could talk. No, you didn't. You thought I was dead. So why don't you just get back in your truck and go back to where you've been all these years and I'll get back to my life. I'll see you, Dale. You okay? Yeah, fine. Me and Barry are gonna head down to the Goose. What about your dad? What about him? He's gone. Gone? Do you wanna talk about it? Not right now. <laughs> Do you have any baby powder? <laughs> Sir Lance hurts a lot. <laughs> Come on, buddy, let's go. Oh, you're still here. Yeah. I uh, just thought I'd have a cigarette before I hit the road. Okay. You got any cigarettes? <laughs> Sorry. Well, I guess I'll head on out then. Um, you came here to pay your last respects to your son when you figured out you could actually talk to him. Now it's time to go. Well, he doesn't want to see me. That's pretty clear. I can't say as so I blame him. Hell, I bet he cusses my name every day. Truthfully, he doesn't talk about you at all. Mom said I'm supposed to get a turn with the camera. We'll get a turn as soon as you're tall enough to grab the camera out of my hand. Mom! Oh, don't tell me I'm old enough to have grandkids. This is Jack and this is Bo. Boys, this is your, um... This is your grandpa. But Grandpa Carl's our grandpa. 
Yep, this is your other grandpa, Dale. He's your dad's dad. Grandpa Carl always gives us a dollar. I'll tell you what. I could give you that dollar and you could go blow it on candy. Or I could take that dollar and invest it in this new business opportunity I have. Now, I can't tell you much about it. But the next time I see you, you could be a millionaire. You don't have a dollar, do you? <laughs> then when I was 16, he showed up one night to borrow 50 bucks and said he was going out for cigarettes. And that was the last time I saw him until today. Oh, I'm... 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 I'm...